What's up, everybody, and welcome to my TNA, I'm sorry, TNA, my Friday Night Smackdown review. A lot of big things happening on the show tonight, so uh, let's kick it off with Triple H and The Miz. If Triple H and The Miz are out there, Triple H pretty much talked about how what happened last Monday with The Miz and the whole handicap match thing, which was a lot that happened. And when he brought Miz out here, he wanted to talk to Miz about you're not getting your opportunities he sees. And how last Monday happened when he was knocked out by the big show and that Miz called his wife a, a constraint a uh, constraining witch or he was going to change with B word for bitch he was going to say. And Triple H says you're going to get your uh, opportunity tonight. You're going to go one on one Randy or with uh, Randy Orton tonight as he told the Miz. Because, um, as we happened before, why don't we fly, fly your family out here from Cleveland or something on a G5 that they can find that? Why don't we give you a, a, a big thing or something that? We gave you Miz TV and, and Miz Primer said it was a setup, this whole good cop, bad cop thing. So, and it was all a setup just to get the Miz knocked out. So, you get, he gave him his opportunity tonight to go one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton in the main event on SmackDown, he says. Now, bro, the real one against R-Truth, the real one. Then Van Damme came out, pretty much beating the hell out of the real, took a chair and just started hitting him with a chair and running and kicking him with the chair into the turnbuckle. And Triple H and Vicky made a match. It's going to be a hardcore match for the World Heavyweight Championship at Battleground. We're going to ECW, people, as Triple H said. We're going to pull some out of ECW handbook, he says. And we're going to have Triple H, go, as I said, Triple H, we're going to have Rob Van Dam going against Alberto Del Rio. And as I said before, a battleground hardcore. Oh, we're going to stick with a hardcore match. Hell, yeah, let's even call it extreme rules if you want to say that. We're going to say hardcore match at battlegrounds for the World Heavyweight Championship. So let's watch out for that when that comes. The primetime players went against the Real Americans. I guess the Real Americans have gotten all to the old crowd saying, We the people think. So they told the people to stop saying, We the people. And Tony Cesar always putting off one of those amazing giant swings, 24 swings he did. As the match pretty much went on, uh, Jack Swagger hit the ankle lock on Darren Young, went in the match. As the Real Americans beat the primetime players tonight, which was a really great match. Really good tag team match tonight from uh, the primetime players and the Real Americans. Uh, Bray Wyatt killed Zack Ryder. Bray Wyatt won. Uh, Del Sigler went against Dean Ambrose for the U.S. title. Pretty much in this qualification, the Shield were already out there, and Dolph Ziggler brought out Kofi Kingston and Rob Van Dam out there with him. Pretty much in this qualification, Triple H came out and made a six-man tag, which for some reason this always keeps happening on SmackDown. It results in a six-man tag with the Shield. The Shield pretty much went against RVD, Kofi, and Dolph Ziggler, which was a really, really great match. Ending up with the Shield winning the match. Ambrose getting the pin off over Kofi after Seth Rollins hit that knee on Kofi Kingston. So pretty much the Shield picking up another win. Very great six-man tag match like usual from the Shield. Um, Big Show is in the back talking about he seems like he's a broken man. He's broken. People have been talking about him on the street and the locker room is messed with him. And Triple H says, oh, you don't want this job, huh? Like, why don't we go find something else like a, a desk job or a, a doorman or airport baggage claim. And they don't have a lot of jobs for you like that. And you need this job. And Big Show wants to hit him. And then Triple H starts making say, what, what, what are you going to cry? Did, did, I, did I hurt you? you you're, what's going to happen now? What are you going to do? Ha, huh? ha. Huh? And pretty much Big Show got pissed and walked away. So, a really good segment right here from Big Show and uh, Triple H. AJ when it's Cameron. AJ and, uh, well, Tamina now. Tamina's like the new personal security, like bodyguard now for something to help AJ. I don't have him a Biggie Langston, but uh, pretty much AJ beat Cameron. Nothing new there. AJ says he's going to destroy all the total divas anyway. Paul Heyman came out and cut a promo about Night of Champions and what happened last Monday on Raw. 
about CM Punk got the crap being out of him in his hometown of Chicago, Illinois, and everything, and pretty much Triple H, not Triple H, just when I like keep saying that, Paul Heyman, he talked about he was the best in the world now, and at Battleground, Ryback is going to beat him, and he was thanking Curtis Axel, he was thanking Ryback, because the fans, you're the one that pushed CM Punk into the trap and everything, and pretty much Paul Heyman played possum on his scooter, and Ryback and Curtis Axel came in for the jump, and at Battleground, CM Punk's just going to be looking up, and knowing that Paul Heyman is the best in the world when Ryback beat CM Punk at Battlegrounds, as Paul Heyman says. So, really great promo from um, Paul Heyman. He slayed one against Santino, which was a very retarded match, as for some reason, Great Kali and Hornswoggle got that. And it was a flute battle with a like, do 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 with a flute between Jinder Mahal and Kali, which was incredibly stupid trying to control the Cobra. Santino won. Fuck this match. Nobody cared. It made no type of sense. I don't know who came up with that in the back, but it was very retarded. Randy Orton then went against The Miz. Uh, pretty much ending the disqualification. Well, ending a uh, DQ at first. Miz hurting himself doing that running clothesline he does on the turnbuckle. Pretty much, Orton kept beating the crap out of him, and then Triple H says, Orton, I know what you're trying to do, but Miz is going to get this opportunity, and it's going to be a no-DQ match, then a r match to restart. Orton kept going back on Miz, Miz got his chair and started beating Orton with it, but Orton got the best of him, and started beating the crap out of him, then with chair, throwing him across the turnbuckles, throwing him across the barricades and over the announce table, ending it with an RKO, then nearly destroying the Miz right there tonight. So crazy uh, main event now. So I guess they you know trying to make sure like this Randy Orton is back. The 2009 Randy Orton is back. That Stephanie and Triple H have brought him back. That created the sadistic bastard. Now is back. They say um, the announcers for Randy Orton. But I'm gonna start a review out tonight. Once again, comment, subscribe. You know what I am. You know what I do. Once again, and I, and I usually say this line first, you know it's me, it's me, the H double O D heel going down, squared in a box, you know, here's the black and white of the white socks, you know it's going down, and we're now done with this review of Friday Night Smackdown. So, like I said before, comment, subscribe, tell when you start the show, we are nearly one week away now from Battleground, so... Watch out for that. It's coming up. Live reactions will be happening. Uh, make sure you check out past reviews, live reactions of pay-per-views, everything. I'm out of here. I will see you guys later. Peace.